Let's see. I might as well go where the game is wanting me to go right now, though, because I don't really have anything better to do. I could go and look at the weapons, but I just kind of wasted all my money on the scrolls, so... I don't know. Um, what was I going to say? El Campus. That's not the strongest of puns. Uh, campus, of course, being like some sort of school campus or another, just spelled differently. Uh, I think the word al, A-L, is also like the um, definite article of the in like Arabic or something, but I'm not sure if that's what they were going for. Martha, well, it's wonderful to see you again. It's me, you. I have no you idea who this is. Oh, you. What a pleasant surprise. This is Martha, the house mother. Martha, these are my friends. A pleasure to meet you all. What brings you back to our campus, you? This gentleman here. He was wounded in battle and... Oh my heavens! Let's get you into bed. You, be a dear and fetch me a poultice. Right. And there. That should do it. Some good bed rest and he'll be back on his feet in no time. Whew. Oh, thank goodness. That's a load off my mind. Oh, Martha, how can we ever thank you? Think nothing of it. I'm just happy to see you again. You'll be staying for a while, yes? Well, oh, uh, how could I forget? You haven't seen a flying castle in these parts, have you, Martha? Why, I most certainly did. It caused quite the stir here in town. <gasps> what, do you remember which way it went? Oh, I'm afraid not. It vanished from sight so quickly. Let's ask around. There must be someone in town who can tell us something. Alright, so now here's another cap. Now I, uh, I have to go talking to people, don't I? I don't suppose there's anything to explore in here. It says there's two treasure chests. I don't know if that refers to, like, hidden items too or anything. Um, I guess I can look around. Right? Yeah, there's... I figured something would pop up on the desk. Oh, wait, that's, a uh, That's Kami Izumi. Alright, something about whatever, because I wasn't reading. And uh, here's the cat. Meow. Inspect. A wake-up bell. Very funny, finding a wake-up bell on like a bedside table thing. Um, where else? Usually, the like inspect thing tends to pop up like on tables and stuff. Uh, so it's not completely like wandering around blind. Anyway, that's uh, both of them. I do like that the dungeon master thing, or whatever it is. in that dormitory, you? It shows how many like hidden There's items there are too. I don't remember if it did that in the first game. This is like a second home to me. The land of learning has a different sort of atmosphere, but it's a great place to live. Magdalu, if I only could have met you in your student days, you. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't really changed all that much. Land of learning, huh? I guess there must be a big school around here, right? There sure is. Or, rather, I should say that the city itself makes up one giant school. Anything and everything about life in our campus revolves around study and students. Boring. Example. Well, let's see. Almost the entire population of the city is made up of students, faculty, administrators, and school employees. And look at the buildings around you. Bookstores, stationery stores, cafeterias, all catering to students. Wow. So it's not a school built to serve the city, but a city built to serve the school. Exactly, sir. I couldn't have put it better myself. You? You! What did you study while you were here? Well, just the usual liberal arts. You know, biology, physiology, psychology, theology, immunology, polemology. What else Those are there? not liberal arts. Oh, right. Historical phantasmology, military musicology, alchemic citology, political monology. That's a lot of ology. Holy moly. It's a wonder you can fit all that in your head. I just enjoyed studying, I guess. Tu plaisante. You say you liked studying? For the first time, I feel like I don't understand you at all. Go figure. And here I had you pegged for one of us. One of... what do you mean? What am I, then? Hmm... Why aren't you answering? You're a spoiled egghead. 
What's that look for? Come on, give me a break. <sighs> anyway, we came here to ask about the Skyhold, right? So, let's get asking. All right, well, <clears throat> down this way. We're just running back and forth a lot. I guess I probably should have guessed, but uh, going and investigating the school was kind of a waste of time because the game's going to make me go there eventually anyway. Look who's back. Oh. The sheer nerve. A three-star ninny like yourself dares disobey a direct order from your superior? But... Is that Rifa? A friend? Rifa was an underclassman when I was here. Hey, you! The Bismol family owns half the land in our campus, you know. The school's endowment depends on Daddy's contributions. And still, you have the gall to refuse me? Hmm? I, I just think you should do your own assignments. Besides, I have my own research to attend to. Are you talking back to me, you three-star scrub? I'll have you expelled! Leave me alone! Rifa. <laughs> Not only a simpleton, but a coward as well. I'll just have to find someone else. A one or two star who knows her place. Nagurgur! Die out of popping one in that mealy kisser! Wait, Idia! Well, who gave that popped up Pooh Bop five stars anyway? Originally, stars were awarded purely for academic achievements. These days, though, there are many factors. Lineage, for example. Lineage? Uh, yeah, wealthy families make generous donations to the school. In return, the children of those families receive extra stars. So, it's a token of gratitude? Uh, something like that. The point is, a student's ranking doesn't necessarily have to do with their scholastic aptitude. Some students use their stars as an excuse to bully those they see as beneath them. Sounds like a silly system to me. Perhaps it is. I should go check on Rifa. I'll bet she's gone back to the Spire. Just like old times. Alright, awesome. <clears throat> uh, I don't see either of them, so they both wandered off, and... Let's see, I wonder, is that... One knucklehead, an asterisk holder, or is he just someone who's there kind of to get in the way? Um, I guess, oh, does this lead to the spire? What about... Oh. From the top, all your hats look the same. You don't care if he has five stars or five hundred. Why can't that oaf just leave me alone? He couldn't be more different from the five-star gentleman I used to know. Rifa! Uh, uh, you? Oh, you! I am so happy to see you! Whoa! Rifa! Rifa, settle down. Arrête, arrête! Just a minute! What do you think you're doing to you? Uh, oh my, my most sincere apologies. I couldn't help myself. Just when I was thinking of you, here he is, and... <sighs> thinking of you? W what do you mean, thinking? Hegeus was bullying me, like he always does. And before I knew it, my mind was drifting. To happier days, with you. Happier days? With you? Man alive, Magnolia, calm down! You was always so kind to us. He was a five-star, but he never judged others by the number of stars on their caps. If only more five-stars could be like him, instead of that insufferable Pudgeous. Wow. You were a five-star student too, you? Oh-ho! A five-star knight in shining armor. That, that's, that's not funny. Rifa, I couldn't help but hear you mention your research. What are you studying these days? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Lately, I can't get enough of Ballology. Ball? The study of 
balls? Huh? Like the round, bouncy ones? Or... Or like, uh, you know. <laughs> Allow the three-star biologist, Retha, to explain. <clears throat> oh, and feel free to take notes. Balls are monstrous supernatural entities, lords of monsters, so to speak, possessed of unspeakable power. Or so the legends say. No one had ever actually seen a ball, so they were thought to be mere fantasy. Until just over one year ago, a massive living organism came hurtling down from the heavens, crashing here on Luxendark and causing great destruction across the land. From its resemblance to the monsters of legend, people came to call it a ball. Ever since, scholars in our campus have been working tirelessly to learn more about this fearsome entity. Whoa, how frightening. So what did this ball do after it came crashing down here? As far as we can tell, it hasn't moved a muscle since. Scholars believe that it must be sleeping. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. What's there to study? You suggest that we simply sit by and do nothing? <laughs> Preposterous! The balls of legend are horrific creatures possessed of unspeakable power. If such a creature were to waken, the entire world would be in danger. Well then, it sounds to me like somebody should take care of this thing while it's still sleeping. Do you know where we can find this ball? Through my research, I've been able to pinpoint the precise location of impact. But it's a very dangerous place, you see. Far too dangerous for a student like myself to investigate alone. I see. It's a bit of a detour, but why don't we go investigate this ball together? If what Reefa says is true, the threat is too great to ignore. T truly I would be happy to take you there. You do not mind if I go with you, yes? It would mean so much for my research, so very, very much. All right, if you insist, lead the way. So a giant thing came crashing down. They know it was, like, alive, and nobody knows where it is. That makes sense. Anyway, 